Yeah. It's too big. Marvel skateboard, huh? Would you do a bundle deal for all the, the fish and stuff here? All right, I'm here in South Carolina with LL from uh, Handmade and Beyond. And we're heading back to uh, Florida, hitting up some sales. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Some old, old cans. Those are cool. Um, just looking. You got um, any other, old, like old toys or old toys. video games? Do you like Nintendo, Sega? Oh, I don't know. We don't have any. PlayStation? I think we had an old Nintendo, but I don't know. I don't know where it is right now. We got tons of stuff. We, that whole house is packed. Oh, okay. Stuff. Is this stuff for sale in here too? Some of it. Gotcha. Most of it. How much is the baseball bat? Two dollars. Two bucks? Yeah, well, if you find the Nintendo stuff, I would be interested. In okay. It. We're just traveling through right now, so. What is that? Marvel. Marvel Skateboard. Marvel Skateboard, huh? We'll get back to this later on, but make sure you stay to the end because you won't believe what this thing's worth. 2016. I was gonna buy this watch, but I don't think it'll fit. <laughs> yeah. It's too big. <laughs> it's literally like a WWF title. You wrap that around your waist. The watch champ? No. I wear it around my neck. <laughs> a chain. But what's the backstory on this watch? I have. We picked it up at an auction. <laughs> That's cool. It is. That's I was gonna buy it, but it's too big. It won't fit around my wrist. <laughs> I think you need to bulk up a little bit. Yeah. He is a little scrawny, isn't he? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, <tough> crowd. <laughs> my baseball. I'm definitely gonna get this baseball bed here. I think. Ken Griffey Jr. Oh, that's, awesome. that's cool. Yeah. That's cool. How much are the fishing lures here? Uh, Real. Reels. Two dollars a piece. Two dollars a piece. So, what's the backstory in all this stuff? You said you have a ton of stuff to clear oh, out from a shed. Lot, we used to do auctions. Oh, okay. Yeah. You'd buy like a lot of a box of stuff. And yeah. You never know what came in it. Oh, okay. Uh, did you? Do you guys have like a booth you set up, or uh, do you we, guys? Well, we yeah, we used to have a booth at the Sleepy Poet in Gastonia. Okay. But they closed down. Oh, gotcha. And big heavy box. <laughs> we just kind of collect stuff. Yes. Okay. Video game stuff at all? No. Any old like uh, toys or action figures at all? Comic books? We got comic books, but they're not old, really old comic books. Like how old? Seventies. Seventies? Yeah, I mean. Eighties. Seventies. Yeah, I reckon that's old. We're old. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on if, you, if you have, I'd love to take a look at them. Do you know where they are? What thing you know? Trap. So do you guys still go to auctions or do you guys stop uh, doing that I, now? No, I'm retiring in November. He's already oh. retired and we're moving to Belize. Okay. Oh, <laughs> nice. Wow. Awesome. So you just time to just clear stuff out now, huh? Yeah, I'm trying to clear stuff out. Yeah. Shakespeare. Do these look old to you? These look newer. You mean like these, like this? Looks, these look old. Yeah. That one's old. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. Come on, skateboard. That's cool. 
Ma'am, how much do you have in a skateboard? $5. Five bucks? Okay. Would you do a bundle deal for all the, the fish and stuff here? Six, eight. You have ten of them total. Uh, $15. Fifteen bucks? I think this, this sounds fair. Keep an eye out for old fishing lures and reels. They can actually bring really good money. We're going to lot these up on eBay and send them up for auction. Where are they? I don't Do you mind if I take one of these boxes, ma'am? No, that's great. I'm going to go out. Come out here and look. I'm going to box. <laughs> start throwing stuff in a box. These are older? Yeah. You got Archie. Okay. We have a box somewhere that's got like X men. Yeah, that I'd be I'd be more interested in that. And You got sports cards too? Do you mind if I take a look at them? Yeah, they're right here. Yeah. There's three. There's three of them. Three binders here. Most of them. This bear is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> That's like nuts. Getting the hard magazines. Did you try out the radio? Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Try to see if she wants her. He didn't work much. Yeah. What else we got here? Clown. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not from here, man. Oh, yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm actually in. I'm from Florida. I was actually at a convention. And I'm just traveling home, <laughs> so I like to hit up yard sales on, on my way. Interesting. Bank. Yeah, a little Christmas bank. <laughs> Looks older.
tell you, we got a box this big. Yeah. Like this right here. Slap full of. She said it was more like Marvel stuff, X Men. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's the stuff I, I like, so. Is that stuff in the 70s as well? Yeah, I think so. Okay, yeah. All these ashtrays. Yeah. Yeah. This one's interesting. This giant nutcracker. Yeah. <laughs> On a rocking. Never seen it like this. Hmm. What do you guys have on this? And three bucks. It works. It works. Yeah, it works. Saw the had the battery in it, but I didn't see it. Uh, it's, just, it's just been sitting like this yeah. thing. Take it there. I'll take it for th three bucks. Yeah. Sure. Add it to my pile. And you, you said you don't think you have any like video game stuff like old Nintendo or Sega, Game Boy, any of that stuff? And that's the only sports card stuff you have? Yeah. Okay. You have another storage building filled with stuff too? Oh, I got that half full of stuff. Wow. Got another storage building full of just junk. Is that close by here too? You have a lot of places like all over the place, huh? Well, I got. This building, that trailer's full of stuff. Uh, at my other house out there, uh -huh. I got a storage building slap full of stuff. Got a lot of move before you guys move. <laughs> yeah, we do. Right in here. What's up? Impact tools. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's key though. Yeah, I know. How much? A How much? A couple dollars a piece. And if they work, they they just been in my building for a while. Yeah. And probably just a little bit of oil. Yeah. Not sure if they're working on it, huh? This one's I got a I bought an air compressor one time and mm -hmm. then I bought that stuff. Yeah. Do you see anything else that you want? Yeah. Let's call an attitude adjuster. <laughs> what are you asking for the box of comics then? The ones you have here? Uh, $20. 20 bucks? I'll give me 10 bucks for them. Give me $10. Cool. All right, 10 bucks there. I had 15 on that. Five. So it's 20, 30, 32, 35. Want to make it even 40? Just take those two? Thank you, man. Appreciate it. All right. You like the wheel and deal? I like it. Uh, we're here to get rid of the so I make the offer. It's probably going. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> uh, I'll come back and grab this here in a second. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, a husky for yeah, that one's less than twenty. I don't know what this. I don't know what this one is. What's ch? There's another husky. Power force. Where'd you get that for? Ten. Ten. Five bucks. You guys putting out more goodies now? You're asking about games? Yeah. yeah. Game books. Game books? A couple more comic books. Alright. They just found it. You just found it? Alright. Yeah. Dragon Age. A lot of Assassin's Destiny Creed. Books. Gotcha. That's Destiny. Yeah. It's Destiny, Dragon Age. 
Destiny again. And Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed. Okay. And we got some comics here. Oh, Bruce Lee. Jackie Chan, that's weird. <laughs> Marvel Age. What else got in here? Magazine? Yeah. Is that more more magazine? Oh, <laughs> what's this? Dude, I... Oh, I rolled under the truck. The bat. <laughs> what's wrong with you? Oh, this one's been cool. <laughs> what do you want for the stack of books here? Five bucks? Ten bucks. Mm -hmm. Including these? That was, yeah, those are the things here. I'll give you ten bucks since you give me a good deal now, that'll be fair. Yeah. You got change for 10? I mean, change for 20? You got change for 20? My wife takes all my money, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one making the money right now. <laughs> He's thank retired. You so much. Yeah, thank you so much. I gotta grab this. Dude, I got that giant. I got the watch. Yeah, I know. Watch Did you? I when you got one. it? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for the deals. You, got it. you guys got anything else you're bringing out before I leave? Uh, I'm buying. I got you. I'll be, I'll be uh, halfway across the state of South Carolina by then. I'm heading back to Florida. Thank you so much. All right, so I was actually at FlipCon with LL from Handmade and Beyond. Um, if you guys are Etsy sellers, Go follow him right away. He specializes in giving you the best advice for Etsy. As we're driving back though, we did hit up some, some garage sales along the way. So let's talk about some of these pickups. The, the fishing reels, I bought those. I wanna pick up more fishing stuff here in the future. Fish fishing reels and lures can actually sell for really good money. I have a buck 50 in each of these. I'm gonna put them in a big lot, start at 20 bucks and let go on eBay. Let the market dictate the price. Hoping to get 40, 50 bucks for them. All right, so I knew that skateboard is pretty rare. I couldn't find any comps anywhere on it. It was limited to 2000 and it was from 2016. So I just knew for five bucks I had to pick it up. It wasn't until I got back to Florida and I started looking up on Worth Point that I saw that one sold for $175 and the end of 2022. So if one hasn't been up there in the last nine months, you know that's pretty rare. Those impact tools, I probably could just take them to the local auction house. I've been taking stuff there and uh, five bucks, I'm not gonna lose any money in those. We'll probably get, you know, maybe 20, 30 bucks of those. But I mean, for a buck a piece, I couldn't leave them behind. Of the comic books. This is why it's always so important to ask. I asked her if they had any video games, comic books. He brought me out the big box of comic books. Unfortunately, he could not find the Marvel and X-Men comic books in the 70s, Ugh, which still breaks my heart to this day. Because that box he brought me out with had like Archie and like um, some Looney Tune comics in there and, and some old ones. A lot of those comics were either 15 cent or 20 cent comics. And there was a total of 216 of those. Now, nothing in there that's going to be worth money to list individually. Man, this sun is so bright out here. But I am going to take them to the local auction house here. There's 216 comics. I'm hoping to get anywhere from like 80 to 100 bucks for the entire box. I paid 10 bucks for it, so I'm not going to lose money. I asked about video games, and then they realized that they had a big box of video game strategy guys and books. We should get about 100 plus bucks for everything in that box. We paid 10 bucks for it. So, so guys, we have a, a whatnot coming up this week and one coming up next week for some vintage Disney items. And next week's gonna be some Disney pins. Make sure you guys follow us on whatnot in the description down below. Check out our second channel, Flipping and Punching. Link is down below as well. Make sure you subscribe. It's more of the backside explaining what we are selling and how the business is going. And I got a new special segment for you guys that I'm gonna start busting out. I have had an overwhelming response with my pets, showing my pets in this show. So at the end of every video, we're gonna do picking and pets. And uh, we'll just show you guys some pets from each time. Today we're gonna actually bust up Mr. Jack because no one of you guys have not got to meet him yet. He's our old Shih Tzu. He is very, very old. Um, he is blind, but had him forever. So I love him to death. Here's Sky sleeping on top of the couch. Hey baby, hey, did I wake you up? 
Hello. Did not get to meet Mr. Jack yet. Say hi, Mr. Jack. Here's my Shih Tzu. Super cute. The grumpy little face. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, make sure you guys keep picking and punching.